Howdy y'all, welcome to GoFigureNews.com. I'm TJ, I will be your host per usual. And today we're gonna to get right into this review of an incredible figure by Alex Pardee. Now, this was produced and sculpted by Toy Cube, and you can visit them on the web here. And I highly recommend that you do because they have some interesting and wonderful things cooking and in the works. In fact, they just released a couple of new figures, including the abominable edition of this said figure. Now, we are going to be looking at the standard edition. This was released in May of this year. And the other version is sort of monochromatic and uh, just became available, I think, last week. This has become almost completely scarce. So though it's a limited edition, I don't know the exact number that they have produced, but I'm going to guess that it was somewhat small because you can't find this anywhere. The only place I could find it was in the UK and the shipping was near the same cost as the figure. But let me tell you, the figure weighs. It's got quite a heft to it. And I've got a story to go along with that. So, I'm going to give you a quick viewing of the box. As you can see, here is his kooky, wonderful, surrealistic uh, illustration here on the cover, which is all done in this really beautiful bright yellow, which repeats itself on the figure, which we'll get to in just a sec. On the top and on the sides, it's just that same yellow color. And the back, it has the title of the piece, the astronaut, and his signature imprinted as a logo and some information about this not being a toy, etc., etc. Now, this is a work of art. Now, he's made of polystone and PVC. And a really interesting note is when I picked him up in Los Angeles, I got him at the 3D Retro store and he was the very last one and it was actually the one that was in the glass case. So uh, they pulled it for me, which is fantastic. And honestly, this might weigh a pound and a half, if not almost two pounds. It's, it's got a real heft to it. It's surprisingly deceptive. Here is the astronaut in all its glory. And ladies and gentlemen, I just want to let you know that right at this moment in time, this is my figure of 2016, bar none. I felt it so strongly last year with Jason Lyman's uh, abominable snow cone, and I'm feeling it here. I really am. And with the just recent announcement of the other Alex Party figure, which is Backpack, that's coming out from Mighty Jacks. Not until January, though. He's going to have a, a really cool partner. And I'll bring him back if I get a chance to uh, review that figure side by side. Now, he retails for somewhere between $120 and 130 bucks, depending on where you can find him. And I want to say that the sprays on this are impeccable. The, the shading detailing of the pants in the astronaut suit is, it's, it's almost unreal. I mean, this is, this is the creme de la creme, ladies and gentlemen. If you're going to make a designer toy, use this as an example of how to make it right. He's got the intense, intense, vivid colors. These, this yellow, as opposed to this sort of pink and purpley color, is incredibly balanced. And using this sort of drip effect of the teeth and the slime, so to speak, coming from this creature, um, just emphasizes the skeletal qualities to the big toothed astronaut inside. I love that he's holding his helmet. There are no moving parts. This is basically a, a single piece. This yellow figure is completely menacing. And the look on the face of the astronaut is almost realistic. This is 
this is like an outtake from, from a horror movie. It's like an outtake from Alien. Anyway, you can see the backpack here with the air hoses and you can see how incredible the sculpt is. You can see the attention to detail in the folds throughout the jumpsuit and also the division between the creature and the astronaut is, is done in a really wonderful way. He really is kind of like engulfing this character. You know, at first I was, I, I was kind of wondering about the coloration between the bottom of the suit and the top of the suit, but what it says to me is that he's being lit from above, from some type of a, a source, the sun, the moon, whatever, as he's sitting on a planet being attacked by this crazy, vicious, skeleton-making monster from Mars. So let me tell you, as I am returning from my trip to California, I am stopped at TSA for the very first time in my entire life, and I'm pretty much a regular traveler. And I thought, wow, this is really unusual. I know I don't carry any metal on me, but it was my bag. So they pulled me aside and they, and I, I didn't get nervous or anything because I thought immediately that it must be one of the figures in, in my bag, which I made extra space for. And this one I had securely packaged so that they were clothes surrounding it so nothing would happen. Um, as I uh, traveled and um, and in fact it was this figure that set off the alarm at the airport so uh, I thought that that might be a sign from the goddesses uh, that in fact the goddesses of Mars let's say um, that in fact this piece needed to be inspected by anyone and everyone in my path so I was actually more than happy to open my suitcase and show this to the agent. And he actually, it, he, it wasn't that he was unprofessional, he just was a little taken aback because I don't think he ever saw anything like this before. And um, it's one for the road. I am completely impressed. The scale, the color, the sculpt, the expression, the artistry, Toy Cube, you get a huge two thumbs up, three if I had them, for this incredible astronaut by Alex Pardee. And Mighty Jacks, we will be watching for that backpack figure. Um, I hope that it's going to be kind of within the same realm. Don't forget to subscribe. And um, I so appreciate you taking the time for watching Go Figure News, and please do check out our Facebook if you get a chance. We'll see you right here next time, over and out.